Aries, welcome. This is your Monday tarot reading. I hope you have a nice weekend. Um, this is divinely timed though, so whenever you watch the video, it's fine. Um, thanks for subscribing. And uh, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, you may resonate. So Aries, please. Aries. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. <laughs> okay. Surround yourself with friendship. And know that your friends want to help you. And it's soul family, isn't it? Really linking in with soul family now for you. It's very important at this time. There's a decision you need to make or a decision somebody needs to make. Look at that. Decisions, what do I do? Ooh. Let's go a bit deeper, find out what's going on. You're very loved. Um, now, there's been a bit of a period of waiting where it's like you, you're not sure if things are really progressing, where things are going, um, you know, and um, it's been you know, a bit of a waiting game or maybe you need to take a step back and take a break. From something and that's very good because that can actually help you get deeper into the self you know and ultimately that's what we're here to do isn't it um what you actually come out of it with is the ten of cups which is very very good this is a yes from the tarot you are going to be celebrating aries you are going to be celebrating because you're going to be getting what you want emotional fulfillment right so just keep believing because and maybe that's why you need to be around your soul family at the moment, because it's like, you know, um, something very good is about to happen. But you might not really believe it because you've got here the three of swords, which is a lot of purging that's going on for you. So you could be going through this kind of strange healing journey at the moment where you're, you know, you're purging and you've got pain coming up. But then at the same time, something amazing is happening because I know it is with that Ten of Cups, because that is love. That is emotional fulfillment. That is a celebration. That is a yes from the tarot. Um, let's see what's going on for your person. Let's see what's happening with them. Hey, Gilbert snoring in the background. They've got three of swords reversed. Yeah, there's a lot of purging going on. For you and for somebody else. Have you connected with somebody who's going through a difficult time in their life? Because that's what it feels like. And I feel like sometimes you have, to, as much as you really emotionally connect with that person, because I think you do, sometimes you need to take a step back from it because you end up conf all confused. And it's only because your energy comes together with like-minded people, you know? So if you've got a pain body, you get attracted to somebody with the same amount of pain body as you and you come together and then often what happens is you can have a really great connection, but you start to trigger each other and then you're both purging. So sometimes it makes sense to take a break. Otherwise it can mess your head up because you get confused between what is their stuff and what is my stuff. And that is very, everything's projection. And you can say to yourself nine times out of 10, it is actually gonna be your stuff. <laughs> I found this myself. Um, very recently so um look you're going to be celebrating this is a yes from the tarot you've got an emotionally fulfilling situation here but i think you're both going through healing journeys which can make it very stressful um let's see what your person is sort of feeling my higher self is trying to reach you so in spite of everything I think they feel this connection to you strongly, energetically. Um, so whatever behaviour you're dealing with from them, they are connected to you. There's definitely a connection here and it's, it's uh, deep. Your spirit guides, Ace of Pentacles. This is a yes from the tarot. That is a golden coin. You know, that's a golden egg that will grow into something very, very good long term as well. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way. These resources may be money, advice or assistance. It's a good time to start a new venture. Change careers or go into business for yourself. 
There may be important contracts to sign. Contracts, love contracts, mm. cherub, you know, love. Um, now, you could be doing very well financially as well. That looks good. Finan finances look very good for Aries. But equally, um, you're at the beginning of a relationship here. Or, well, yeah, it, it feels like it's just the beginning. It's probably not just the beginning. Um, but this is, you don't need to abandon. I don't think you need to abandon this situation, but you need to accept that it's just the timing has been funny. I feel like it's funny timing with somebody where ideally it would have been great if you could meet when you both weren't going through different healing things. But, you know, it is what it is. It, this is how it happens. So um, connect with soul family, take time out when you need, but also enjoy it and try to keep separate what's your stuff and what's their stuff. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the Ten of Cups. This is a good scenario. This is very good. You know, you've got somebody here. You know, maybe you're just about to meet this person. Or maybe you've already been with this person for a while on and off. But this is... Spirit is bringing you a new opportunity here in love, okay? Um, and it's going to be worth all the effort. So that's the message. Thank you for subscribing. If you'd like to book in, just contact me. And I am sending you lots of love, lots of peace, wherever you are on Gaia.